Introduction Taking on PhD is something that many people do without considering the true nature of a PhD and what is involved in convincing some crusty, embittered academics that you are worthy of joining their, jo their club. On the surface, a PhD looks like it has the potential to provide academic freedom, the chance to explore the unknown and Eureka moments to propel you forward and keep motivation high. The reality is very different from the romantic ideas around the ivory towers and doing a PhD. It is not particularly difficult to find someone who ended up hating the decision to join a PhD. My YouTube channel is filled with comments from people who have regretted the decision to undertake a PhD. I am actually regretting getting my PhD in nanomaterials. Graduated a year ago and I don't like any of the jobs I see in my discipline. Only entry level jobs give me an interview while my friends who did only masters are out there getting led, loaded. I am almost I almost regret staying longer in my PhD program. It has been almost two years. I have been hopeful it would get better but it's only gotten worse. And I have completely lost interest in working on anything academic. Good thing I have teaching that distracts me from my project task. After this semester, which in Germany end in March, I will quit and be free. Recently got my PhD in business and management last February. I absolutely agree with all of your reasonings. Honestly, I regret my decision since I totally burned my saving career and mental health to get this fancy title. I was an individual that easy to move on and quite confident but because of my PhD experience I have this traumatic memory every time I need to study or pick up something new now. If I could time travel to my five years ago I would slap me so hard to cancel this PhD journey of mine. Maybe you are feeling the same as some of these people right now. A range of factors come into play in determining whether or not a student enjoys their PhD or it is something that they have nightmares and PTSD, PTSD about. <clears throat> the good news is that understanding what a PhD is and how best to navigate some of the trickier aspects of academia can allow you to get out of a PhD. Having enjoyed the process and avoided some of the common pitfalls that can lead to regret and panic after graduation. Here are some common reasons people end up hitting their PhD and why it is important to know what you are getting yourself into. Why do people end up hitting their PhD? Even though many reasons and personal situations cause people to hate their PhD, a few common reasons tie them all together. Surviving a PhD means withering the research process, the environment of academia, while preparing yourself for the future and a post-PhD life. Understanding why most people end up regretting that PhD will help you from making the same mistakes and using your PhD to your advantage for whatever future career you decide to go into. It is not like anything they have done before. Qualifying for entry into PhD position does almost nothing to prepare you for the realities of doing a PhD. In your undergraduate years, the academic game revolves around holding large amounts of information in your brain 
and regurgitating it in the exam in response to the exam questions and problems. The undergraduate academic system strains you to able to sit in exams, not do research. To qualify for a PhD and be considered clever, you have to be good at exams. It is typical for people who are good at undergraduate exams to start co conflating their identity with being the clever one. Once you start a PhD, it is common to have a quick and abrupt realization that the ability to see the exams no longer helps you to perform research. An exist existential dread floods most first years to PhD students throughout. An existence existential dread floods most first year PhD students thoughts because they are confronted with something they are not trained to do. Leading to feeling of imposter syndrome, depression, identity crisis because you are mean to be the clever one and many other debilitating thoughts. The problem is that this is not explained to potential PhD students. It is nothing like undergraduate or master's level research. Some students flourish when tasked with these new challenges in the, in the early days while many feel overwhelmed and completely unprepared and never really recover. So be kind to yourself in the early days of a PhD. You are worthy of being there and coming to terms with the new expectations and the new skills you will need to build will take a little time. It will feel alien at first but it will get better. Expectations No matter what you think about how your PhD will, pla will pan out, it never goes as you expect it. And the journey is always far tougher than you thought. A good PhD student remains agile with their response to daily challenges but focused on the overall long-term goal of writing up a thesis or publishing peer-reviewed papers. The expectations of what a PhD student should be able to do upon graduating are also in stark contrast to the reality that exists after doing spit out the other side. Many students do a PhD because they expect to be able to enter the academic workforce upon completion. The reality is that there are fewer and fewer academic positions advertised in increasingly competitive academic environments. Universities are run like a business and cutting costs in the name of the game for even the most well-known institutions. Many PhD students are, many PhD graduates are unprepared for the realities of the career market upon completion of their PhD. This book will help you formulate an exit strategy from academia to survive the process of doing PhD and use the skills you have gained throughout your PhD in a career or job that you are excited to do. Burnout Burnout is real outcome of a PhD for many students. I have six months to submit my thesis for examination. I am so exhausted after six years. I am in the final year of my PhD, very exhausted, exhausted from the process. Working towards completing a thesis or publication of research for many years can leave you feeling exhausted, empty and unable to cope. Common symptoms include exhaustion where people feel emotionally exhausted and unable to master the energy for their research. It can sometimes manifest a physical symptoms like pain and digestive issues. Alienation from activities. PhDs who are experiencing burnout 
find their research increasingly stressful and frustrating they will start voicing cynical opinions about working conditions and their research team or supervisor they may also increasingly distance themselves emotionally from people and feel numb about their phd reduced performance people start becoming very negative about their research making it hard to concentrate and remain creative burnout is even more likely to occur if your phd environment is stressful the lead supervisor and lab culture typically curate a stressful phd experience some of the more competitive research teams expect you to be working 7 days a week and take no holidays i have heard horror stories i have heard horror stories of supervisors calling sunday meetings to ensure everyone is on the weekend avoid working for this academics this book will help you avoid burnout by alleviating the stress of your phd environment and giving you the practical tools for overcoming some of the common hardship and issues faced by a modern day phd student here are all of the important decisions to make before starting your phd it may take time to get through all of this and you may even miss out on an intake deadline do not rush the decision or feel pressured into making one